What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be uncovering this bad boy right over here. It's the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, I'm not really a big fan of GoPro for the reason being that I don't really go out in adventures and do a lot of things that I need to, you know, carry, carry around something like this. I mostly use a DSLR camera to do all my shoot and I don't know, maybe I'm just a boring guy, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to the Philippines this March, March 28th, visiting family and also feeding kids that needed help. You know, it's just like I put myself in a situation, this will be my personal mission. You know, to at least feed some kids. And if you want to be involved, I will link down below uh, the GoFundMe account so that you can be involved in, in in giving. Anyway, back to the GoPro. Now, the reason why I'm not really a fan of GoPro is because first, is the, their audio system is bad. Second, is the GoPro Karma drone is, goodness gracious, the, the, the worst thing ever. And I know because I've just seen so many reviews about it and personally me i've been thinking of buying one so i decided not to because of those review and they totally redeemed themselves in this one no so six months ago when they released this one they have this highlight feature that boasts a hyper smooth stabilization and uh, basically you don't need a gimbal to have a stabilized a shot you you just need this so that is really amazing you know for a videographer like me or if you are a videographer as well i guess you may be intrigued on how it is anyway guys let's get right into it i'm just gonna go closer so you can see it now these are the main features right over here 12 megapixels in picture it has 4k 60 uh, frames a second it has 1080p in 240 frames a second 33 feet underwater you can you there's a voice command like you can talk to it like a Siri amazing it's really dope touch screen eight times the slow motion GPS GPS HDR and their amazing hyper smooth um, magic carpet ride whatnot let's get right into it that we have this it's like brochure oh my gosh they have a GoPro sti uh, sticker this is amazing if you guys have seen my uh, my last unboxing I'm kind of upset because Mavic doesn't have any sticker you know to go along with your product and I collect stickers I'm a big sticker guy I like you know I like to collect those so as the boxes so it includes with those with two mounts right over here a usb cord and whatnot nothing important the most important thing is right over here on top pool it says here pool you got pool and gosh i almost drop it <laughs> and here it is guys the gopro 7 black I think it needs a US SD card, I believe. So we're just gonna put the SD card real fast. There you go. All set and ready. We're gonna turn this on. Oh wow, this is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna record this right now so you can take a look at what's happening in the GoPro. So this is how it looks like guys. So I'm gonna shake it briefly. I'm gonna go up and down, shake it. No way! So it's kind of late right now and I really wanna test this in the city. So what I'm gonna do now, I think this is way better if I test it out outside but it's too late right now it's like 11 p.m so i'm not even gonna bother so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test this out tomorrow and i'll see you guys tomorrow 
What is up you guys? Alright, so I just finished filming uh, with the GoPro Hero 7 Black and I was kind of disappointed in my part because it's my first time using the GoPro Hero 7 or GoPro in general and with that being said, I don't fully uh, know the uh, functionality of the GoPro so I need to do a little bit more digging. My feet hurts. All right. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I just got here. Let's make a full circle in the It's okay, I'm going back. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> and in this case, uh, if you're using one recommendation, if you're using a, a, a color grading of the GoPro, I suggest using flat instead of the GoPro one because you would want to have some room for video, like to post process everything you know for post-production and you would want to be able to color correct if there's anything wrong with the footage and not be sticking on just one uh, color grading which is the GoPro one and overall with my experience I really like it given the fact that I'm not even trying to uh, stabilize the footage but it's just having this uh, um, this clear uh, stabilized like images so that's pretty dope to me and uh, I'm sure as far as I uh, go forward and you know use it a lot of times I'll be really good at it and that's just how how things work you know and overall analysis on how the GoPro works for my needs I think I like it really well I like it very much because it it also sits in my uh, drone here let me show you when I went to the city with Angelica, we, f uh, we flew the drone, we did some ice skating, and uh, we shoot in the GoPro. And what I've decided is to put a mount here and test it out if, you know, putting the GoPro here will work. And guys, it did, it did work. So if you put your GoPro in here, you would be able to resist the weight. So that's pretty amazing to me. It's pretty great. So what I did is I put a mount in here and I put the GoPro and it works really well. I thought it's gonna work. It's not gonna work because the, the payload of it will be just way too high. But surprisingly it went well. And I did some hyperlapse of the city. Maybe use it for stock footages. But the GoPro, I, I suggest if you're putting it in your uh, drone, you just want to do a one-way uh, kind of a or just one one-way movement because if you switch side to side the GoPro tend to just go side to side as well so I thought the stabilization in the GoPro would be just as much as like a, you know like a gimbal but that's not the case you would still you know nothing replace a gimbal you would still need a gimbal because at this type of situation where you need to mount the GoPro into something and it's creating a different uh, motion, you would want something that would uh, hold it so it's just stabilized on the center point of view. And that's my analysis to it. Anyway guys, that has been it. I hope you guys uh, seen this video as helpful. And also, uh, if you have any question, let me know. Uh, put it down on the comment section below and also we're going to the Philippines and one of our mission when we go there is to feed kids and if you want to be involved in this uh, um, helping and giving giving back to the community I will link down below the GoFundMe account in which you can uh, donate so that you can also help to the giving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.